So guys, my first key for my game is obviously I'm a short hitter. It's driving the ball in play. I'm not going to drive it long. I'm never going to drive it long. If I can hit a drive 225, 235, 240, just depending on the conditions, and I can get that ball in play, that's going to give me a shot at the green. First key to breaking 80 is getting the ball in play off the tee. I've got 141 into a little breeze. So I'm right between say a seven and eight, but it's a front pin. So I've got plenty of room behind that pin. If you have a front pin or a middle pin, you always want to want to club up. That's really going to help a lot too. And I've done a video on that recently also. So I clubbed up and hit the seven and it landed a few, I mean, five yards or so short of the, short of the pin here. If hit the eight with the average stroke, I would have definitely been short. I was always okay with the ball dying at the hole, even putts 15 to 20 feet. And I think talking to Tom, I think he got this from Scott Fawcett. Inside of 20 feet, you should be a little bit more aggressive and make sure you get it to the hole or even a couple of feet past the hole. So I would say this putt inside 20 feet. So I wanna maybe get this putt a little past the hole if I miss it. Didn't take my own advice there, guys. I think another key to breaking 80 for most people is to have a particular shot shape. If you have a particular shot shape, I would kind of go for that as long as it's not too extreme. So that ball actually hit and kicked a little left and rolled probably down in the rough. Didn't really miss my target by very much. I shot the pin at 143, which again is a good eight iron for me or an easy seven iron. But now we have a back pin. So I'm gonna be a little more careful. And I used my GPS and figured out I had 149 to the back edge. With it being soft, I've got a couple more yards, 151 to play with. So I still think it's safe hitting a seven iron. One other important key, getting really good between 30 and 40 feet on putts. Most golfers, when they hit the green, their first putt's generally going to be in the 30 to 40 foot range. When I'm playing well, I can have 14, 15 putts in this range if I'm hitting a ton of greens. Guys, I think another important thing about breaking 80 is knowing your dispersion, not only the width, having a good understanding of it, but also the depth. Also, not only when you're playing good, but when you're playing bad. So often we think about oh, where we can hit this seven iron, 160 yards or whatever, 170, whatever you hit it. We don't think about that's either our best strike or that's the that's when we're playing good or that's when it's 75 degrees and we're really loose. We don't always think about oh, what happens when it's a day like today when it's 46 degrees out and cloudy and we're tight and we have extra layers on or we're just not particularly hitting the ball well. So knowing how those things affect you and knowing, hey, today I'm not really hitting the ball great, so I'm hitting it X distance instead of Y distance. So one other key I think is the distance between 60 to 120 yards, which most of us are hitting, or a lot of us are hitting wedges, at least most of that distance. I think that's a very important distance to break 80, getting competent in that area. I would say if you can hit the green 75% of the time, I think a stat I saw was that the pros, now they're playing to different greens and they're shooting at tucked pins more often than we are, but the pros from 75 to 100 yards only hit 78% of the greens. So if you can hit 75% of your greens from 60 to 120 and secondly hit those shots predominantly inside that 30 to 40 foot range to where you should at least two putt all of those that's another key to breaking 80. I've got 89 yards here into a little win. I'm gonna hit a 48. I'm not going to go completely at that tucked pin and again if I can hit it 20 30 feet that's not really a bad shot. We'll cut it off just a little bit. Looks like that ball is 20 feet. Three wood.
Okay, middle of the green. You gotta find some swing thoughts or swing keys that work for you. As an example, that three wood I just hit there, even though it's not conventional, the one thing I do when I when I hit a three wood is I actually close the face slightly on my takeaway. And when I do that, generally I can hit a nice draw with the three wood. So, you know, another key is you basically have to find out what works best for you. Can you imagine hitting a shot in that bunker right now, guys? That would be a challenge. I did a video this summer on hitting out of heart packed bunkers and I'll put a link in the description. I kind of put this on a side slope just so you can see the green and, and see the ball. So maybe I'll, I'll probably choke up a little bit more on this shot. You can just hit these air shots to 30 feet. You know, when you have a decent lie, Yeah, it'd be great to get them inside of that. It'd be great to hit them 15 feet from the hole. But if you can consistently limit your self to a bogey at worst, I would say that's the goal from the sand trap. So guys, I was looking, trying to find that ball mark and I couldn't find it, so I'm not sure this ball even flew to the green, but it was two, it was about 200 to here, about 190 to the front edge. So, you know, I may have landed just short of the green there. four hundred and forty nine yards to the center of the green it's uphill so already as a par four I know there's a good chance that I'm not going to hit this green in two so there's no need for me to swing out of my shoes hit our normal drive So we faded that ball a little, so we're gonna have a long way home, but you don't have to par every hole to break 80. Get up there and see what we got. 230 to the center of the green here, 215 to the front edge. So here I would say it's, it's all depends on what you have comfort with. I got a decent lie, so I'm gonna hit three wood, but otherwise I would hit a high wood and short of the green. I can't get to the green, but we'll just get as close as we can with the good lie. There's not a lot of trouble up there to worry about. One of the big keys to breaking 80 is limiting your double bogey. So if you can limit your double bogeys to one, two per round at the most, that's a huge key to breaking 80. Got to stay away from those doubles, keep the ball in play and out of trouble. So we're going to hit a three wood. Okay, so we didn't hit that particularly well, and we're gonna be well short of the green. You only need to hit six to seven greens per round. You have to have a decent short game. We'll talk a little more about that. Three or four on the front, three or four on the back, but you don't have to hit a ton of ton of greens in regulation to break eight. So we got 52 yards to a back pin here. Here's an area I would say, you know, now we're inside that 60 to 120. So anything inside 60 yards from the pin, I would say is a must to hit the green. You know, I mean, if we look at percentage wise, over 90%, our goal more is we want to actually be inside of that 30 foot range. I would say 75% plus we're going to make some bogeys, but we can't risk making doubles. I did fly it all the way back to the pin here. You know, 20 foot range, 15, 20 feet. For me, this distance, I'm gonna try to get it inside of 15 feet generally, because 15 feet is that area to where I'm really feeling like I can try to make the putt. It all depends on your handicap level. To break 80, you definitely have to try to get this inside 30 feet. All right, guys, so now we got a short par four down the hill. I'm probably the one guy that even when I play scrambles, I don't swing any harder. All right, guys, that wasn't too good. Still in play, the pin's on the left, so I wanted to kind of air towards if I missed it at all, missing it right. So I missed it on the correct side. So gotta look at the positives. So now we're 36 yards from that pin. So we're definitely in a spot where we 90, 95, 
98% of the time need to hit the green, you're getting kind of closer to the up and down. You know, generally I say any time inside of 30 yards, up and down about 40% of the time or better. So we're getting kind of close to that. So I would say a good goal from here would be to hit it inside of 15 feet. So guys, I think the average eight handicap makes less than one birdie per round. 0.9 birdies per round for eight handicap. So you don't have to make a lot of birdies. You just have to keep the ball in play. But I've seen all kinds of golfers and I've seen golfers that are streaky to where they may shoot 78, 79. And they do do it with three or four birdies because they may be a long hitter hitting par fives and two in between hitting a lot of wayward shots. So there's all kinds of ways it can be done. In general, one birdie per round. All right, guys, we have a front pin here and we've got 176 to it. You're just trying to break 80. You wanna not make the big mistakes, not make the doubles. The big mistake is short in the water here. So I'm hitting a high wood and I can hit this closer to the middle of the green. Kind of fanned it out a little bit, but we're at the right edge of the green and I think it may be pin high. Again, we took an extra club, so we didn't have to hit it great. If you enjoy this content, you get some value out of it. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. It actually flew here. We let ourselves another putt eh, around 20 feet or so. Again, excuse the fertilizer in the green. It's to make this green absolutely beautiful in the springtime. So short-term sacrifice. We generally don't play much golf around here in January. That was pulled. Par four here, about 310. So the one thing I would say, there's all kinds of golfers trying to break 80. So some, so if you're a guy that hits it a lot longer than I do, which is a lot of people, a hole like this with trouble right, maybe you don't hit driver. Whatever your club that is your fairway finder, because to break 80, you don't have to drive the green. You just have to keep the ball in play on a hole like this. So it's a 310, I'm gonna hit driver because my dispersion with this club is pretty good to where I'm never, never going to hit it that far uh, right to hit it out of play. Right at the deer. He didn't even move, I must be short of him. Didn't hit it great, but we're in the fairway. So we've got 93 yards. We wanna get hit the green 75% of the time at least. Anything inside 30 feet is a pretty decent shot. It's a blue pin, so we don't wanna go long. So I hit a 48. Pushed it out to the right a little. And we are on the green, but definitely outside of that 30 foot circle. Did not make an aggressive enough swing there. I'll walk off about 35. So again, this is the area where, you know, if we can get really solid with our putting from this distance, then we can limit ourselves, ideally none, but one to two three putts at the most around, that'll get us breaking 80. Never known to be aggressive on putts like that. So here's a hole that's uphill, about 390. To have a good shot at the green, I have to hit a really good drive. You know, if I can hit that 235 yard drive, which would be my max, that'll leave me 155 in. Uphill, you know, generally I'm probably looking at closer to 170 here. 170 to 180. But again, the key is just to get the ball in play off the tee. I'm not swinging any harder, any difference. I'm just trying to hit that ball in play. One eighty two to the middle of the green. I've got one seventy nine to the pin. I shot the GPS. I'm going to go with the high wood being uphill. I would be tempted to hit the three wood, but three was a little harder club to hit so anytime I can hit this high wood I would rather hit that. I like to say when you're just off the green just an easy basic chip shot a really close one you want to try to get up and down closer to 75 percent of the time just a basic everyday chip shot.
I hope you got something out of the video. Hope you got some tips that might help you break 80. I plan on doing another one of these videos for, for breaking 90, sharing some stats on that. Hopefully this helps you. If you got any questions, any comments, please leave them down in the comment section. Any other advice for any other golfers out there that are looking to break 80? Anything that you want me to include for the break 90 video? If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need a palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head.